The Rockford Speedway is on its final lap. This summer's 76th season will be its last, but you can take home a piece of history. Our Taylor Castro learned more about a special auction, and Taylor, there seems to be a lot of stuff up for grabs. Yes, Tom, there's over a thousand lots of assets from the Rockford Speedway and the Forest Hills Lodge. A lot of these items are part of history. This afternoon, I checked out the public preview before the online auction tomorrow morning. There's a lot of history items here uh, that we wanted to introduce to the sale, and then obviously the banquet and the operating assets of the banquet facility. An expansive collection of memorabilia and items from the esteemed Rockford Speedway and Forest Hills Lodge is up for auction. There's a mix of everything from banquet equipment and furniture to signage and souvenirs from the Speedway. The legacy of the racetrack can be remembered by trophies, plaques, and other racing trinkets straight from the office of its late owner, Jody Deary. Pieces of American history are up for auction as well. My father was a huge uh, history buff, let's say, and uh, in our attics we've had uh, all those newspapers bundled up and uh, news from the, the wars and the presidents being killed. Uh, he just had a, a collection of that stuff and unfortunately we were running out of space to save everything and that we would rather get it in other people's hands. The Clearspan Steel Building itself will be sold in a separate auction. It's 15,000 square feet, featuring a two-story addition and an additional outbuilding. Hopefully somebody can repurpose the, the building and relocate it somewhere else for a different use, or if it does not sell, it'll be demolished and torn down. The State Line community came to the preview Monday afternoon to take a look at the items they can bid on. Strong display of people today from the tables and chairs to the uh, Speedway memorabilia. It's a, a whole mix of different people, so a good showing. It should be a big sale. Bidding on these items closes at 9 a.m. Tuesday morning. It's completely online. You can find a link to the auction on our website, mystateline.com. Tom.